Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I am going to solve one more problem statement that actually with respect to the slicer and the date settings. And what exactly is the problem statement and uh, how we are going to resolve it. Uh, let's go into that. Before going into that, uh, please do check out my YouTube channel where I have tried to solve the different kind of a problem statement in a simplest manner. And hope that might help you in a day to day practice. Uh, while delivering your work. Okay, now let's get back, jump to the problem statement. So if you see that uh, I have a normal sales data, I've just considered other sales data. It might be some other scenarios also. If you see, I have a data till 2024 October. Realistically, if you see generally the sales data we would have, we have a forecasted value, but let's say in a scenario, a uh, Netflix subscription is there, right? So someone might take a subscription today let's say whatever the two days is the date and they might be having the data after this also. So that kind of a things or where you are actually uh, having subscription model or let's say promotional activities is going on for a given date range, the promotion activities are goes on and then you plot something, let's say the count of uh, product that has been promoted or something like this. So that kind of a problem statement, generally you have the future dates. Okay. And, but, when it comes to the analysis part, we try to focus on the today's date. Uh, today's date. So in slicer, if you see, you cannot, whatever the slicer, the range it will have, it will take the maximum and the minimum date. It won't be having the today's date for the analysis. So we have to do some kind of a modifications over that so that it can be having a, from the initiate the minimum date to the today's date should be your slicer range. So how we can achieve this in Power BI? Let's see. So I have already built one sample uh, report. So if you see the today's date is, let's say uh, 13th of August. So it will automatically here and it's the same data. If you see everything is same in the chart also got uh, filtered out for the August till this thing. So for this, uh, I have a very simple, I have taken the sales data, which it, it can be anything like it. sales. I've just given as a some continuous variable. That's why I've just given a names. And so where we have a date and it's, uh, uh, and it's uh, whatever the continuous variable you have, let's say sales. <clears throat> and to perform this, uh, I have created one more calendar date, calendar table, I would say, where I have just taken the range from minima to maxima. You might be having some other calendar dates. Generally, we do have in, in best practices like to have a calendar table separately. So I've just created a minima to maxima date. Now, what else we need here? We need to restrict our slicer. So how we are going to do this. So for that, actually, if you think in this way, if we create a, some logical column, based on the fact that if we can filter this particular range itself, a data, and how we can create these things. So let me create that particular uh, custom column here. So if I just go here, I'll just figure it out this one, and I will select this particular, and let me hit new column here. So let's create a custom column here for this. And let's name as is, today's date. So for this, what we need, if my calendar date is less than or equals to today. So this is the very simple uh, custom call it, uh, column we have to create. If it is true, then return me the, sorry, my bad. Info, sorry. True, else, false. If you are comfortable with zero and one, that also works. Let's hit center and let's see how this column looks like. Uh, once it's there, I will go to, I beg a pardon, like it just my laptop is quite slow. So let's see. So let's go into this particular table and see. So what it does is like it's anything dates is below true and it's a dynamic. So every day it will change So because every day today will change. So it will be a dynamic nature. So that that thing also being considered here. If you see the today is if for January, it's true. If I just scroll uh, to the last. If you see here for, uh, for 14th August, it's false because 13th is the today's date, right? 
Now, if we just put this particular thing here, okay, first we need to make a connection also between both these tables. Unless we do a connection, it won't work. So let me do the connection here. One to many both sides. In the connection is set up. Now I have to go here. Uh, then I have to remove this date. I have to include this per this particular date. I will just remove the quarter and the date for the simplicity. And if you see here, it still has an October. Now what we need, we need this things only true value. And if you see this is getting filtered out. Okay. Now, but your if you see data is being filtered, but your slicer is not. So we need the slicer as well for here also. What do I need? I will just put it here and true makes it true. And here we go. So it is quite easy actually to do this thing. So if you see, it will always have the maximum date till if you see it's it's all blackout. So you cannot select anything greater than today. So this is how like simply just you can just create a slicer uh, with respect to uh, let's say given today and the minimum date. So that's how it works and it works properly. Uh, and you might need to do certain modification depends on your data model and other things also. So you have to take care of that aspect as well. Let's say I've just filtered out for uh, uh, till May until like March 23. And if I just filter it out, if you see it, it again backs to the today. So this is how you can just play around this thing. And uh, hope you are able to follow this point till point where you can customize your slicer with respect to the today's date. Uh, Thank you so much. Follow for more Power Via updates. Thank you.